So something a little bit different to start you off. I want you guys to draw me something. I want you to draw me the shape that you think a raindrop is. Right? OK. okay. Just, just draw what you naturally think of as a raindrop. Finished, yeah? Yeah. And I'm now going to look. And we've got a wrong and wrong. Look, I even put on, like, a little kind of reflection to make it look 3D. What's that? It looks like a malformed pear or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I tell you what, it doesn't look like a raindrop. Oh. Because I am going to completely change your view of what raindrops look like. OK. And it involves this amazing machine, my vertical wind tunnel. So this machine is capable of forcing winds out at between about 7 and 36 kilometres per hour. OK. I've been indoor skydiving yeah. a few times. I'm pretty certain that's kind of the same thing, where you've got a fan at the bottom and you hang over it and the air rushes around you and holds you in place. Yeah, it's a bit like that, but instead of using a parachuting, Greg, we're going to have a raindrop. So, Greg, I'd like you to turn the machine on to 138, please. This is extremely difficult to get right. OK. So, if I get it right, I want maximum points from both of you. Mm -hmm. We'll Bye. see. <laughs> I'm trying to isolate a single drop so I can reveal what shape it really is. It's really hard to do. Is it? Oh! Oh, it's gone! Oh, it's gone! Oh, it's gone! Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, there you go. No way! So that is the shape of a raindrop? Yes! Wow! Can you see it's slightly flat yes, on the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So raindrops aren't actually raindrop shaped. They're more like hamburger buns. I'm just going to turn that off. I didn't think that would happen as it's dropping down from a rain cloud. Water molecules like to cling to other water molecules. So imagine you're a water molecule at the surface, then you don't have any water above you, you only have air. And you don't really cling to air that well. So what happens is you cling to your neighbours a little bit better. Right. And that forms something known as surface tension. It's the surface tension that pulls that water round into that spherical shape. But there's also air resistance, which pushes up on the sphere and flattens it out a bit. So it ends up looking a bit like a burger bun shape. 